Hi, I'm Bailey from Radio 1, One Extra Metalheads. This is Southern Avenue TV. First got to drum and bass, as a matter of fact, from more or less when it started. Uh, in about 89, when I got a bit bored of hip-hop, house music came to London, and there were a lot of illegal raves happening around the country. It was known as the Summer of Love, because everybody just uh, was on, well, uh, everybody was on pills, and everybody was really happy about stuff, and raving together. And it's the first time, as a matter of fact, when, like, uh, you get black people, white people, Chinese people, all kind of people raving together, because before that, it was sort of like black people, hip-hop, black people, R&B, white people, commercial clubs. It's the first time, that it came together. That's when, like, that's what really drew me into the whole like uh, house music vibe before it came jungle and then jungle bass. Been on one extra now for about, what, about nine years, more or less, uh, since the radio station started, as a matter of fact. And um, I tell you what, there's always work to be done. There's never a day when I think I've kind of come here and I've done what I needed to do. Uh, the amount of things I've done now, including the, the you know the full three-hour takeovers with. Ram records and hospital records, all the live bands and stuff we've had. I mean, there's always stuff to be highlighted. So, um, you know, it's, it's far from over for me as far as I'm concerned. Over the years, my sets have developed more or less with the music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even the structure of the music, the way it's made now compared to how it was in, back in the day, is very different. Some tracks these days, you can't even mix the intro because they have nothing to guide you into the beat. So, um, I mean, I use Serato, um, uh, uh, digitally controlled MP3s on my laptop, stuff like that. And um, that helps me like uh, get to where I want to be in the record, as opposed to dropping a needle onto a bit of vinyl where you can see in the vinyl where you know, that beat is where you want to catch. Um, but it hasn't affected me really. I think, I think, I'd like to think I have a, a fairly soulful running theme throughout my music. And that's more or less what I stick to. And I also use the principle of, you know, because I get a lot of tracks for free, I have to use the principle of, would I spend like seven pounds down the shop for that track? You know, that kind of like cuts out all the nonsense because I can't just play it just because I happen to have it. I have to really believe and feel the track, otherwise it's kind of pointless. The aim and break in drum and bass, if it, if it disappeared all of a sudden, magically, uh, it wouldn't be the downfall of drum and bass. However, uh, it is the best, Built in break for drum and bass generally. Uh, drum, drum and bass was, kind of, it was built on that break, and to this day, even with the modern technology and the really crisp mix downs, it's still the best break to put in the background because of that sort of um, the white noise in it and the, uh, the rolls of the drums and stuff like that. There's nothing at the moment, well, I don't think, well, most of the producers have been through a lot of breaks, but there's nothing that can compare to that. So I think it's going to be a long time before we see that fading into the back, if ever. My uh, favourite producers, um, it, it changes from time to time, but for at least about three years now, Break and Spy can't do any wrong with it. Everything they make, so just crisp and got a funky vibe to it, real organic stuff, rather than just, you know, I hear stuff, and it sort of feels like people are just making a track for the sake of the moment, rather than something that um, they're projecting from within themselves and they really want people to hear. Uh, so for me, Spy and Break have that essence of funk and soul. I love what they do, I love it. Shout outs, I don't know, you know, the thing is, there's too many people to mention, but I think the most important people generally are the ones that go out and pay the money to go to the raves. And I mean, big shout out to you for representing for all this time. You know, even though the generations change, keep doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? It helps people like me, uh, it gives me an opportunity to express myself musically and without that, I don't know man, I might be all locked up and stuff, I don't know man, <laughs> we need to get out. So we need you Rebs to keep going out, keep representing, um, and I'm sure all of the DJs and a lot of the uh, producers in the scene feel the same way.